It's pretty obvious from the trouble that's being taken over him that he's a very important horse. And it's just as clear that he's not going to take part in a horse race, or they wouldn't have brought all that harness. Quite elaborate looking gear too. So it must be going to pull something. And it turns out to be a sort of chariot. Not the kind that Roman gladiators used to tear around in, but a pneumatic tired model weighing only 50 to 60 pounds and called a sulky. The kind they've developed specially for trotting racing. The sport is tremendously popular in America, and over here, pioneers are blazing a trail at the new Gosling Stadium well in Garden City. friends of man, the bookies, have scented a new outlet for their benefactions. And as they don't often make a mistake, it's a pretty safe bet that trotting will soon find a big following in the south of England. It's already established in the north, where there's always room for something new, especially in sport. And now they're off. Not with the grandstand roar you hear at Epsom or Aintree, because there isn't so much depending on it. But it's an excitement all of its own, and even people seeing it for the first time thrill to the new appeal of trotting. It's a fine spectacle too, as the little horses lift their front legs as beautifully as if they'd spent years in a circus. All the world over, any sort of race has an unfailing attraction. There was some doubt before the start whether the cinder track at Wellin would be suitable. They needn't have worried, the going's perfect. For the race itself, they've borrowed the most famous name of all and called it the Derby Stakes, run in three heats, five laps of the course, one and a quarter miles. Every driver tries to restrict his horse to the trot all through the race. A gallop or canter doesn't mean disqualification in the early stages, but it does at the finish. The rules say the horses must pass the post at the trot. Trotting racing has been called the sport of the baker's roundsman, because most of the animals are owned by tradesmen who train and enter them mostly for the fun of the thing. If they pick up a little prize money, so much the better. As well as the money prize, there's a trophy, well earned by a horse which trotted as smartly as any soldier on parade.